This is going to go over how to use Midjourney to get inspired with some art creation. And you could think of it as a way to have placeholder art or take the base layers of what Midjourney gives you and create a lot more with it. Go to Discord and in Discord, you'll find the Midjourney community after you sign up to sign up for Midjourney. Go to midjourney.com and join the beta, sign in. If you already have signed up within Discord. The main community, this icon here, has a few servers going of other people running their art experiments. You can run your own art experiment or art creation with Midjourney by starting by typing in slash imagine. And you could just click on this prompt. And what do you want it to imagine? Maybe you want to imagine a rainy day in New York Times Square. And maybe a style, style of anime. If you want to have a certain aspect ratio, and this becomes important a little later on, dash dash AR for aspect ratio. Maybe you want it to be 16 by nine. As soon as you type that, just hit enter. And then you wait for your mid-journey image to be made. Now, I'm on the main channel, main server channel. And if you don't want yours to be bumped as it gets created, you can do a direct message. And that's after you sign up for a subscription. You can have direct messages, your own vertical of creating your art. Here's the image being created right now based upon my prompts. These are called prompts. A description. And maybe a style. That's optional. And also what's optional is the aspect ratio and other parameters later on. 80% done. And let's look at the final version. Click on it. And this is the interpretation. Go ahead and save it. Save image. Now, if any of these interests you and you want it to be created larger, you would pick the square, one, two, three, four, upscale, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you like one of these, but you want variations, then V1, V2, V3, V4 would generate variation on one of these. I'm gonna upscale, let's say this one, number one, two. And then the process starts again, where my upscaling of that image is happening. Well, that's happening. Let's go visit my previously made ones. And I was doing this to make some textures, some concept art inspiration, things like that. And even a keynote. Needed some cool backgrounds for a keynote. So maybe you just need some cool clip art for the background and you want to do something fun. Mid journey could be it. Or stick with free picks, Pixabay, iStock photo and those things. So when mine's done, it'll go to the top of the list. Let me refresh this page. Here's the quarters. As soon as it's done, we'll take a look at that one. And then we'll do another one and look at upscaling it for use. Let's just hit refresh in your gallery, click on it, and there's the interpretation of this scene. And I'll save this one as well. And I'll call it rainy two, B for big or U for upscaled. Okay, to get it away from all that clutter, you could direct message the little bot, and this way, you could just focus in on the art. So as a review, you start with the command slash imagine, and then you could give it a topic such as fut futuristic city. You could find different artistic styles and you could go out there and find your favorite artist and say, buy so-and-so artist, and that totally works. I'm gonna just try this more minimalistic approach. So. Imagine a futuristic city, and I want to say that the camera is up close. 
or close-up shot, junk on the street. And then before I just use AR 16 by nine for that type of image, if you want more vertical, it could be nine by 16 or any aspect ratio, ARs for aspect ratio. Before I get there, I'm going to say make it 4K, so lots of detail. And then Unreal, which engine, which is the rendering type, Unreal Engine, V-Ray, ultra realistic, things like that will influence the style that it looks like, more realistic. You can also say photo for photograph, and then I'll type in Unreal Engine, Cyberpunk, which will be more of a stylistic choice. And then my ratio, AR 16 by nine. And then wait again. And here it goes. And since I had a little space here, I messed up the command, no spaces between dash dash and AR. So I'm gonna have to redo this one as soon as it's done. And if you make a little mistake, no big deal. Just copy your line, copy. I could take a look at what's going on here. While that one's going, I'll just remove that little AR space. So dash dash, no space with the command. And I could write also close up. I could write extreme close up. Junk computer. And maybe I'll focus in on a junk computer on the street. And I'll leave everything else the same. And while that one gets created. So these are the current ones. This one, kind of like this first one. And I could do variations on this first one by clicking the V1 right here. Since I want a 16 by nine, let's see what happens with this one. It's almost done, it's a third of the way done. A realistic soda bottle in a room. Let's say on a table in a room with a bright window. Extreme close up. I'll type in 4K. And this time I'll choose V Ray as to emulate, to draw it in the style of V Ray, which is a rendering engine. And I'll do the aspect ratio as a nine by 16 to make it more vertical. And let's see what happens. And you'll be saying that a lot to yourself. Let's see what happens as you experiment with the words, the styles, the different types of ways to render it. And as that one goes, let's put another one in there. But instead of V-Ray, extreme close up, Let's say line drawing. And then we could compare the two. I'm beginning to like this one the best. Like the little light coming over here. But you never know until it's done. I also like this one. Let me make this one bigger. So that means one, two, three, upscale one, two, three. As that happens, here's the line drawing versions. Interesting. Kind of like this one, a little asymmetry going on. And this one kind of reminds me of a um, glass bottle with a stained glass effect on it. And this one, let's go with increasing the size of curious about how it's going to interpret number three. Now, if you like these and as the quads and you just want to use it as clip art, let me save this, save image as. We 
to use another application to increase its size. Because sometimes at the smaller quad level, it looks kind of the way you want it. And when it gets blown up, it's maybe too, too many extra features there. So we could take these thumbnails and make them larger for your art use. And here's the bottle still being created. And your art that you get might not be perfect. It's here to inspire, here to use this clipboard or to take in, just build on top of it to complete it. If you don't like the way it came out. And the line drawing is almost done as well. Right click, save image. Next part is to upscale these. So that way you have enough resolution to work with them for whatever your visual project might need. All right, for upscaling, I'm using Topaz and you could go online. It's a wonderful tool. And besides enhancing photos, it also does videos and a lot of other cool features. It goes on sale a few times during the year. So if you enjoy having good upscaling tools, this one is very good. After I launch Topaz right here, I'm going to go to my folder and let me just drag in. So normally won't have enough resolution to do anything with. It's a tiny thumbnail, but using this software, it will make it nice and crisp and I'm going to take it from its original resolution of 512 by 896 and I'm going to increase it to a height of 2200. Or I could just do a scale six times as well. It's doing its calculations and see how it was blurry and it's no longer blurry. This is the before side, this is the after side. Let me drag that over here. So this application is very good at upscaling and this one uses machine learning to upscale the image. Um, use whatever you enjoy the most. Let me put it back into here and it's gonna be bottle big, save. And in a few seconds, it's all done. Here's the original. And here's here's the upscaled version. So this is the complete loop. You could create stuff in Mid Journey or other applications online to create artwork. Maybe you enjoy seeing the thumbnails. Maybe you don't have time to make it bigger. And even if you make it bigger, it's not as big as you need it to be. Then you can use something like Topaz and increase the size of the image without getting caught in that pixel valley of bad pixels all over the place. And then you can continue making your art. From side to side, if I just drag this one bigger like this and see the loss of detail this is the original just drag bigger scaled up bigger and this is the current one so much more detail getting rid of all that blurry pixelness that happens when you just increase the size of an image without actually processing it through some application to bring out the details that you need 